Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning report on Wednesday the 11th of February with me Rich Perry Market and Lestat's Handtech Markets. The European trading session has started off pretty basic, pretty much basically flat um, and that's due to the fact that we've got this big Euro group meeting today that uh, the finance ministers of the EU are going to be discussing the um, the Greek bailout and um, which uh, comes up for um, basically ends on the 28th of February and uh, the Greeks are obviously interested in uh, trying to renegotiate the, uh, the repayment of that they're looking for an extension maybe even six months according to the market and uh, to, to expectations and uh, it's sort of um, it just it depends on whether the uh, the Germans uh, are going to allow this sort of um, to slide in the uh, in the uh, the uh, the bailout terms effectively. So that is um, going to be today, and the discussions um, again probably um, just drive market sentiment throughout the day. Equity markets are basically flat. Forex markets are basically flat as well. No real direction anywhere. The only real direction slightly um, coming out through the uh, dollar yen, which is higher. But other than that, pretty much everything else is flat and uh, not a great deal going on anywhere. Um, and uh, there's not a really um, any announcements today either. You've got the, um, you've got the, let me just find it, oil stocks um, for the states this afternoon. And that's it pretty much. You've got the oil stocks that are um, being announced, the oil inventories, which are expected to come in again, just slightly lower at 35 million barrels per day interesting that uh, the last couple of uh, times at that, that this um, last couple of weeks we've had the expectations um, have been come on higher than expected and that has helped to um, pull the oil price lower again so it'd be interesting to see if that happens again today um, but uh, the um, that's pretty much it in terms of economic announcements nothing really doing so we're waiting out for pretty much all day for this euro group meeting um, and uh, for any news to come out of that um, to give us a bit of direction really so uh if you look at this dollar really there's no again you've had this strong payrolls report on friday but since then we've basically been consolidating and it looks like um we're waiting out for this greek um debt scenario to play out before traders get get any sort of real direction or take a view anyway I'll, um let's uh, move on to the uh, kiwi dollar which is my chart of the day um interesting that actually we've had this rebound in kiwi dollar that that um, has unwound uh, much of the weakness that we saw towards the end of January. Um, in terms of what we're doing, I think the bigger picture wise, I just think we're pretty much unwinding back towards this key floor. If I zoom out quite a long way, you'll see that this is a big floor um, on the, on the um, Kiwi dollar. And uh, I think that we're pretty much just unwinding back towards that, um, which is obviously going to be a big resistance area. But um, there's a, that would mean that um, obviously that reaction high that we saw on the 28th of Jan um, around about that 75 big figure means that between 75 and 76 is a fairly big amount of resistance that could come in and I'm just thinking that uh, this is just pretty much unwinding back into that uh, that band look at these um, daily candlesticks they're pretty much all um, got these long upper tails um, which suggests a lack of conviction in the buying um, and it just l just shows that um, pretty much I think we're just unwinding you've got the um, RSI which is which is rebounding not too bad 42 at the moment um, but uh, you can see also that uh, the the, uh, the rallies tend to get around to sort of the mid 50s before falling over and that's what certainly what happened during this range so you might see a rally uh, on the RSI unwinding on the RSI back towards 50 and that probably would take you into that 75 uh, to 76 area um, also the uh, MACD lines just simply uh, they have crossed over on a on a on a bull crossover but I think that again is just indicative of this sort of near term unwinding of the momentum um, that uh, I think is going to be dragging the uh, Kiwi dollar higher um, into a range of resistance. Now, this is the intraday chart. Look at this um, band of resistance that we're getting around 74.40 on, uh, on several times over the past week or so. That level has come up as the basis of resistance. Um, so it seems to be a near term ceiling as well. Um, and uh, it's not really being able to move above that. So you're sort of pretty much ranging. I suppose you could play the range with this hourly RSI. Every time it gets towards 70, it comes off. Every time it gets towards 30, sees a rally again. So you could play that. But I think generally 
the the macro pictures just suggest that this is just a, a rally that is unwinding momentum and it probably is likely to be sold into once again as the dollar strength returns anyway um i wish you good luck in your trading on the kiwi dollar today it's fairly quiet at the moment across the markets but um I expect some sort of direction this afternoon when we get some um, news out of the Eurogroup. Anyway, I wish you good luck in trading and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.